There we go. Okay, everything should be ready. Uh, let me do my quick audio check. Audio seems fine. Turn on the captions as well. There we go. Okay. Now then, welcome everybody to the world of Dragon's Dogma. So, we are jumping today into Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, which you couldn't tell from this intro screen, I guess. Um, and I decided to start the stream a little bit earlier than usual, since we will be uh, we will be in the character creator for quite a while. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, if you do, hit that follow button right down below. Conviction is the human in the human. Okay, well that was quick. A feast. Why are we feasting? And we're dancing too. Yes. Lend me your ears. Sure. Long Who are you? As our favorite man suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Okay. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. Okay. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the console. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. Okay. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> Ooh, see. Ya. My word, such an inspiring message. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. Do we trust him? Wait, is that us? Are we His Majesty? Really? Okay. Okay, there's something wrong about all of this. Don't drink that. Behold, before you sit the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne. There's no way we just start as the, the king, right? As its enemy. Behold, a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last. At last. The drink is poison, Please doesn't be. it? For only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge your allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Okay. Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon. I see. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true Abandon thy reasoning. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Wait. Uh oh. Excavation site. Did we kill everyone? Did we get locked away?
Okay. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. Probably the one that you can't tell to take down a who or what he is. Face. Come on, step forward. Um, you can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize. Obviously. It's kind of nice that you can... No? Whoa, there are actually more than I thought. If the pawn I'm looking are you the one then? Speak up, you good for nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Yeah, quite a few of them. No? Ah, Quite a few presets. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Obviously, we are taking the hooded one. Yes. Choose a race, body type, and base head to determine the character's basic appearance. You will then be able to make further edits by selecting Customize. Once finalized, the risen race cannot be changed. Race and body type. So yeah, we basically only have human or beast. Just gonna go human. Okay, it's sorted by height. It has variations in between. Okay, this is too thin. I guess this is the... yeah, we're just going with that. Adjust, your f adjust the face to suit your liking. By making uh, selections over three stages, you will then be able to use the head um, you have chosen as a base for the fur f further customization. Okay, we've got some presets. All right here. Um, ba -ba 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 where's my mouse? There's my mouse. There we go. Okay, we have five pages of. To be honest, that's not a, actually a bad starting one. I wonder how many hairstyles they have. Hopefully, a lot. Okay, now we're going to the elderly. Okay, there seem to be like one or two pages per age group. Let's start with this one. We go from here. Base head, what does this change? Okay, what do the choices actually matter? I guess these are similar faces. I see. Yeah, it's basically... The further you go, the older they get. So we'll probably be in this age group. Let's start with this one then. Let's go with that. Okay, and then it's the same face, but uh, different proportions. This is a this is a weird character creation thing that they have going there. Sickness of the neck, basically, what we're doing here. And how high you hit the head is up. You've selected a base head. Would you like to customize it further? Yes. Okay, now we're getting to it. Now then, we've got the body at 190. What does that mean? Is that like centimeters? 
215. Yeah, that. so this has to be centimeters. So you can choose between 160 and 115. I'm going to go a little bit higher. 195. The torso length. So I'm going to try to make this as close as possible to me. Then I should probably go to this. 198. That would be the right fit. Torso length. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. Um, um. What is the base? 40, I think, yeah. Muscle type. I feel like going a little bit down. Do, but then the legs are getting pretty way shorter. I think going to like 30, 35. Something like this seems right. Okay, and this is how many muscles, I guess. How toned you are. Dude, there are so many muscles that you can shoot from. It's not even that pronounced. I guess that's not bad. Type number eight. What the heck? Yeah, I think type number eight. Maybe 10. Let's go 10. Muscle strength. So that's base 50. Oh, that's also how pronounced it is. Let's go that to 75. Trap size. Ah, uh, that's over here at the neck. And minus 15. Minus 15 seems about right. Oh yeah, not like that. Maybe minus 20. Upper body muscle mass. So that's specifically the upper body muscles. Okay, that's pretty buff. That's too buff. <laughs> I'm going to go. That's too low, though. I think 20 might be okay. Let's go 25. Lower body. Yeah, we definitely want to pronounce this. Wait, what? Why does it just get thicker? Where's my calves at? Where are my, like, sexy muscles? Why do they just get thicker? Thicker. Lower body muscle mass. I mean, a little bit thicker is fine, but... I think 75, maybe? Seems about right. A big body needs a lot of um, leg muscles. Upper body size. That's not the torso length, so what's this all about? Minus 35. Oh, that's actually the... How thick you are. Okay. Yeah, definitely not all the way down here. I actually want to increase this a little bit. It jumps up so fast. I think 15 might be the way to go. That seems about right. That seems about right. Okay, what is this? 
the lower body mu uh, the lower body muscle mass already increased the size. So what does this do? Oh, the booty. This just gives you the biggest booty of them all. Okay, very basic. You can get a flat ass. I don't think going too high is good. But I think zero is too low. I think 50 might be the way to go. Maybe that's a little bit too high. Let's go down to 35. That seems about right, I think. Not reset body, please. Okay. Body seems good. We have a good body going. Let's check out the head. Can we zoom in? Yes, we can. Let's check out the head. Head size. We're currently at minus two. Oh my god. That is a small head. I think minus two is too low. I think something like 25 might be the way to go. Somewhere around here. That's This seems good. Head length, though. We had 40. Oof. Forty seems about right. Maybe a little bit lower. Let's go twenty-five. Head width. Since we did decrease the head length, if we decrease the width further, we have to decrease the length as well because the, these proportions seem about right. I guess I'm going to leave the width, but the depth, head depth, up at minus ten. I can see this being like a 30. Something like this. Face height. Oh, this is just, I see. Now that seems about right. Neck height. I think seems about right at 32. Next sickness seems about right too. Okay, that was the head. Now upper body. We're going further into the upper body. On specific muscle groups, actually. Shoulder width. At 6. I think we can go up to 50. Shoulder thighs. At minus 62. Let's go to like 30. Chest thickness. Make the 60. Let's go 65. Chest size at 70.
70 seems about right. Yeah, I think that's good. Both of it. 28 seems about correct. Yeah, definitely. Twenty-eight seems correct. Torso depth at sixty. I can think. I think we can max this out at a hundred. Arm length. How long are my arms? They are definitely going beneath, but. I think they're a little bit longer. Let's see. 32. I think we can max those out too. This seems about right. Arm size. That's six. Yeah, this seems good. Maybe turn t tone it down to like 90. Um, upper arm thickness, forearm thickness. Seems about correct. Now the lower body. One second. I've been having trouble with my like headphone connection. Now then. Um, waste bit. Minus six. I think we can go up to 15. Seems about right. Then the waist size. That's the booty, probably. Eh, it's actually more than the booty. I think that actually is okay at where it was, at th minus 32. Rear size, so that's already maxed out at a hundred, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it there. And then the leg size. That's just the uh, height, right? 18? No, that's actually the thickness. I think that was okay. At 18. Yeah, the calves are kind of low, though. There, we need some th thick calves. Um, bottom is correct. This seems all about right. Posture. Movement style. Oh my god. Really? That's a thing. Movement style. What's the difference? Oh, I see it. Or not? This is a little bit more aggressive than this. Guess I'm putting him up to 25. 
elbow angle at 59. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem correct. Basically how high the elbow is. I think just around there, 59-ish, seems to be alright. Knee angle. 34. Oh, I see it. I think. Yeah, it's definitely closer to over here. What was the base stat? 34. I think we go a little bit lower. Let's go to like a minus 25. That seems okay. And then posture. What does this change? We had 19. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, if we are being honest, it's probably more a little bit like this. Probably at around minus 15. Between minus 15 and 20, I would say. I think 20 is a little bit much. So let's go for 15. Not reset body, please. Now then. Oh my god. We are just done with the first tab. Whew. The head. We're currently using head number 8. To be honest, I kind of like head number eight. I think I'm gonna keep that. Skin color. It's hard to tell from the images. Sadly, we cannot actually select our skin color. We have to pick from one of the... ...options that it gives us. So there's not... Okay, as further down we go, the older we get. Seventeen doesn't seem too bad. I might want to go down to sixteen. Let's go down to sixteen. What the? Oh, we can apply a hue to it, I guess.
Number five is default. I think I'm fine with number five. Wrinkles. Don't really see a difference. Skin sheen. Can we be metal? Ooh, we can be wet. Oh, we can be wet. Wet all day. It's a little bit much, I think. Let's go to like 50 to have a little bit of a sheen. But not like totally wet. We don't want to be wet all day. <laughs> oh god. Brown height, uh, brown spacing. Spacing seems about f right. Brown depth. So we can't actually have a. We don't have really. Oh, actually. I kind of like this better. But not all the way. I think something around 75 should be good. Yeah, this seems good. Brown spacing should be fine. Brown depth overall. What does that mean? I can't tell because of all the lettering. I guess I have to turn him this way. Okay, then I can't not see him at all. There it is. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, 23. That seems about right. Brown angle. That's also a minus 80. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going for 10. Maybe a little bit more. Let's go for minus 10. Brown bend at minus 51. Let's put that to 10. Actually, put that to zero. Now then, the eyes. Eyes. I height seems to be about right. I width, I depth. All that seems okay. I size. It's a little bit big, maybe. Starting off at minus 40. Yeah, minus 40. Let's go up to plus 20. That seems okay. Eye angle seems all right. Left eye closed. Right eye closed. Although it seems fine. But where can we choose our eye color? Then the nose. Nose might be a little bit big. I think I want to reduce the length of the nose from the 42 to more like, uh, actually 10. That seems to be about right. Bridge width. Seems okay. Bridge height. Seems also okay. Bridge bump. Yeah, that's fine. Nostril size. I can't really see that well. But I guess that's fine. Uh, tip depth. Tip angle. Tip shape. All of those should be fine. 
Not gonna go too deep into the nose. Then, what are we at? Ears. Style. Okay. Style, none. Okay, okay. I can, apparently, we can't go back to style none. Okay, there's only one elf ear, and all of the others are just a little bit different forms of the same ear. Change the ears category, yes. Okay. Let's go for the default. Um... Ah, it's this angle. Yeah, that seems to be about right. Openness. Ah, that's... Okay, I see. I want to keep it more to the body. Let's put those to 70. Increase the tip a little bit to like 85. And I think that's good. Maybe a little bit big. Turn it tone it down to minus 25. Oof, that might be a little bit small. Nah, actually, I think they are fine at zero. Then the cheeks. What do we do at the cheeks? Neck thickness. Cheeks and neck thickness. Oh, I see. I see what we're doing. We're filling out the cheeks a little bit. Yeah, we can go up to 20 here. Seems good. Was a little bit caved in, anyways. I didn't quite like that. Neck fat. They just called the category neck fat. I think that's fine. Cheek height. It's fine. Width is fine. Depth is fine. That seems pretty good. The mouse. Mouse height seems good. Maybe. Now nah, that's it's fine. Mouse width is fine too. The protrusion. If you have a kissy face or not. Put that up to thirty. Most corners at minus 73. Put that up to 100. To get the smile going. Lip thickness. Minus 42 seems to be about right. Yeah, definitely. Let's maybe give it a little bit more volume. Minus 30. That seems okay. Lower lip. Let's get that a little bit out there. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe get to minus 20. Then jaw and chin. And chin. Jaw and chin. There we go. Jaw definition. How do you even... Oh, I see. To be honest, that's pretty hard to tell because of the beard. But I think I'm fine with all of this. Yeah, I think I'm fine with all of this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we come to the important parts. We're already over half an hour in. <laughs> okay, we've got... 57 different haircuts. Not bad. Not crazy amount though. Depending on how varied they are. 
Okay, let's definitely zoom out. I definitely like this one. This is the typical hairstyle in most of the games that I go with. So number six would be the one candidate. Yeah, sadly we don't really have... There are a couple categories and a couple of options in every category, it seems. But... I feel too little. Yakuza hair. That's the Reddit's hair. <laughs> okay, that's not bad either. The 54. But I still prefer the other. I still prefer the 6, I think. That's definitely my go-to root color. Okay, what can we choose here? We've got a couple of whites. We've got a couple of blacks. We have a couple of blondes. We have a couple of reds, white again, more white and grays. Now we have quite a few colors actually. Ooh, just gray, basic gray, dark gray. I kind of like that. I would wish for more like variety in colors here though. We have a lot of them. There are like, there are a lot, 183. But I feel like there are just a lot of colors that are very similar. For example, if you look at the number 83, 183 and 108, there's basically no difference. Um, I guess something like that as the root color. Maybe this 157 and the tip color being, what does this change? Actually the tips of the hair. Since there is no turquoise, we can choose. You can barely see that. The one that you can see the most is the white. As a highlight color. The others are really hard to differentiate. I wish the tip colors would be a little bit more saturated. I kind of want to have a little bit of a highlight in them. But I don't want to go too white. But I think 12 it is. Oh, maybe this will help. Root tip blend at 50. Ah, I see. This increases the size. Let's go to 75 and try this again. Yeah, this definitely increases the effect. And the visibility. If not by much. And again, we don't really have that much variety. I guess we could go into more of an orangey blonde up top. From our dark blonde to the orangey. Let's 
go to 65. Machine position. Oh, I see the sheen. It's barely visible though. I think I'm 40. Oh, there we go, the sheen. Yeah, let's give it a sheen. Somewhere around here. Yeah, I think 40 seems about right. I'm a little bit disappointed with the variety of the hair, to be honest. Now we go for the eyebrows. The shape. That's the general shape. Which we're using currently number 11. So we always have... Uh, Scratch through our... Oh, no, we don't. I kind of like it, though. Kind of used to these ones already. So let's go with those. What color did I go with for the hair? Yes. Cancel. Um... One seventy five. I have one fifty seven, I mean. Wait, no. One fifty seven. Is that really it? I guess I'm gonna go with a little bit darker, 153 maybe. The color is so different here though. It's a completely different color. That kind of sucks. Gonna keep that. Sickness is fine. Facial hair. This is important. Oh, we're down here at 14. This would basically be it. That's too much. That's too much. That's too little. That's a Viking. That's also a Viking. Mustache. This one basically fits it as well. Number 11 is not bad. Number 2 is not bad either though. Yeah, but it basically is number 11. And that's too much. Yeah, it's number 11. Okay. Root color. Okay, we can go for the same colors here. Uh, what did I go for here? Uh, 92. Like 65. Put a little bit of a sheen in there too. That's way too much. Go to like 30. Body hair. Well, I'm not gonna lie. 
There are four types. Are you serious? Dude, why is body hair always so underrepresented? We've got basically none. A lot of on the feet, I guess. A couple on the feet. Okay, basically none on the chest. Basically none everywhere except for the chest. Type 1 is just nothing. Dude, this, what weak body hair. Oh wait, we have body hair density. What if I do this? That is still very bad. Ah. Yeah. I'm not happy with this, but... Is it the same colors? Yeah, it is. I'm not happy with this, but... I guess I'm going to go with two. We don't even have any back hair. How unrealistic is this? Give the body hair some respect, man. Now then. About the eyes, though. Did each eye separately? No, that's fine. Eye style. Dude, what happened with all the variety? Now we're down to three styles. I color presets, none. That seems about right. Number six. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Number nine is pretty good. I do have green eyes, so... Why are there so many presets all of a sudden? I think I'm gonna go for number 9. Iris size seems okay. Pupil size seems okay. Eyelashes. Type 1. Type 2. And just gonna go with 1. I'm fine with them being black. Eyeshadow. Style. Number one is nothing. A little bit of a shadow. Should be fine. Not a lot of options here either. I think I'm gonna go for two. Shadow intensity does nothing. Opacity, that's why. At 21. Damn. I just turned into Johnny Depp. <laughs> no. I think going to 25 should be fine. Metallicness. And the sheen. I guess none of this really is visible because of the opacity being so low. Eyeliner. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with none here. Freckles. Yeah, it's type one. Cheeks. I 
I guess since you can't change the color, you can just apply a blush or something. But I think I'm fine with this. Lips. Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Type 1 is fine. Teeth, oh my god. And we can see the teeth. No way. You can just remove teeth? Oh, that's fun, actually. But you can't color them separately, though. Whoa, you can just make them black. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the default 7. It's so cr funny that you can just remove random teeth. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, is that funny? Uh, cancel. Okay. Now then. Now that we're done with the makeup. There's so much left in the last category. Tattoos. Thankfully, all of the presets. Whoa. Okay. So we can't really adjust tattoos. Interesting. Ooh, I like that. I like number three. I like number four as well. Minimal, but really nice. Number five is nice too. Ooh, I like that coming from the back of the head. Yeah, I think that's better than number four. Why is it not on my shoulders, by the way? Is it because I got so thick shoulders? Okay. The thing is, the face is going to be the thing that you see the most. So if we actually want to see any of these. This one we are definitely going to see. But I think out of all of them I like this the best. I'm gonna go with five. It's kind of sad that we can't choose any colors or we can't choose anything for the tattoos, but whatever. Oh, now we can choose stuff. Body tattoos. Ah, I see. Those were the presets, and now we can choose them separately. Body tattoos. Second. I see. Edit tattoo two. Oh my. So this is a sword on our chest. Okay, and we can just replace it with anything, basically. I do like the sword, though. That's not bad, either. I think the sword is the best, because it's... And then we can choose the colors here. And position, position, rotation, overall scale... Opacity, intensity, metallicness. Let's test, test a little bit. Okay, it makes it darker. 
Doesn't really change much. Just makes it more pronounced. So basically, this is a fresh tattoo. This is one that we have been wearing for a while. That's the difference. Sheen really doesn't do anything. <laughs> I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think I'm fine with the tattoos. Um, ba -ba -ba. Dirt. Wait, we have scars too? Scar preset. So tattoos and then scars. They, the scars are kind of hidden. Uh, okay, just a couple of scratches. Oof. Got some burn marks here. Okay, to be honest... Body scar, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. I guess body scar? I do want to put one on the face. Basically this. Why can't I put a face scar? We do have face scars in the preset right there. I guess I have to move it up. Yeah. So you actually have to bring your body scar up to the face. That's interesting. Okay, let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's go down to like five. That's too small. Let's go down up to 15. That's still too big, I think, but let's move it to the right spot first. Over the left eye. Go down to, down to 10. That seems about right. To be honest, I want to actually adjust this so it's sitting over the... over right here. I can't quite position it exactly, but... Oh, I can put it like this. Yeah, yeah this works. Because the smaller one goes into the hole exactly. Okay. Overall scale. That's fine. Big little tilt. That's fine. Opacity. Yeah, definitely a hundred. Intensity. I see. I definitely want to add a little bit of red coloring. There we go. At 50. And the sheen. Sadly, we don't have metallic here. Okay, makes it wet. Put this to 60. Put this down to like 35. Not totally happy, but that looks pretty good. 
Don't need any other scars. What about the dirt, though? What the heck is dirt? Just dirt, I guess? Dirt color none. Dirt. I guess I'd have to set a dirt color first. We don't have a lot of dirt. We have three different options for dirt. Where does it even apply? Dirt coverage. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, let's do this first. And then see the different types. The pattern type. Completely. So this is the lightest one. That coloring. Why do we have so many colorings, but we don't have... more dirt patterns? I think number four is correct. Let's go with the coverage a little bit down. Let's add a little bit of dirt. Let's go to like 50. That's a little bit on the right cheek. A couple of specks here and there. It might, might be a little bit too low. I think 60 is better. Yeah, that seems about right. Now then. Okay, this seems about right. So how do I get, how do I get out of here? Finalize. There it is. Race. Masculine human. No. I'm fine. Can I save my preset, by the way? That would be nice. Um. What about the lighting? Yeah, that seems okay. Now, body. Oh, I see. Those are the, all the things that we've already done. Base head. Detailed customization. That's where we were just, n just now. Then vocation is our class. So, for our class... We can choose between the fighter, which is sword and shield, basic attacker, then the archer, then the mage, or the thief. I think I want to go with the thief. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the thief. Let's see about the voices. Why are these also female? Why is every voice so female? Dude, what the heck? There we go. It's a, this, by the way, it's in every category, it's the exact same voice with a higher pitch. The different gallant ones are the same voice, 
with a little bit higher pitch. I think I'm going to go with Gallant 3. Right in the middle. Okay. Finally. Masculine human. Custom body. Custom head. Custom everything. Th vocation thief. Voice Gallant Knight 3. Let's go. Name. Oh, of course. Everybody should know about what we are here to do. These layers here. Moniker. Oh God. Um, um, good question. Monica Chris. <laughs> uh, age. Well, that's way too... Okay, chill. Okay, chill. 34. There it is. And let's go. Finalize character and proceed. Yes. Let's go. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. I'm not a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Damn. Come along, you feckless dullards. Now what? Oh, there we go. Hold to talk. Don't look at me that way. I've no need of your pity. Oh, don't be like that. What do you want? Talk. Got anything to spare? Not really. Can't say I've any tidings to share. Got anything to spare? Got any tales to liven up my day? Not really. Pray do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. Okay. Okay, there's no way they should let me allow allow me to Look do this. Me that way. And, and there are only that many things that they say. Pray, do as he says and get in line. It is for your own good I say this. Sure. You do not want to learn your place, Paul. Well, I don't like him. I taste it home, but it's not my duty. How are you? Pray, sir, have you aught to spare? What do you think? I'm in prison too. Follow the pack. Into the mine we go. Excavation side. The hole. Ooh, a Colosseum. 
Are we going to fight? Let's go. You think I care to hear your troubles? Leave off. Haha, I can make them stop by talking to them. I can oh, over get them. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. I actually didn't want to talk to you. I want to talk you to the other guy. The overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Oh my, I can suddenly run. Not worth your time, eh? Should probably not talk to everyone. Yeah, let's run. This way, bam, get out of my way. Can't jump or anything. Time for you to get to work. Okay. What does that mean? Pick up a boulder. Hello. Get to work, you rotten layabout. If that's not clear enough for you, ask the other vessels what to do. Sure. The time to train you. On it. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Easy enough. I was supposed to be king, and now I'm doing this, apparently. Wait, what? LB and right, light lantern. Oh, LB gets me access to a quick access menu? Interesting. RT, grab. And release. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap our order. Ooh, it can jump. Yeah. This is so much slower than just walking. <laughs> so where do we want this? Where do you want this? Should I put it here? Is that good? Get to work, you rotten layabout. If that's not clear enough for you, ask the other vessels what to do. Okay. The time to I guess he's fine with that. I definitely want, was supposed to put it right there, but screw him, right? Come on, grab. I'm gonna put every single boulder right in front of his feet. Just to no annoy the heck out of him. Just to prove my point. How many boulders do we have to do? This is good workout training though. This is good workout. Woo! Okay, can you do stuff too, or are you just standing there? Get back to work! You're making me look bad. Well, actually, he's making me look good, but whatever. He's making all of us look bad, I guess. Here you go, your third rock. Rule of three. We should be done, right? You suck! You were prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay, so we he, he says that we are supposed to bring them to him. Yeah, okay. I mean, here you go. A job well done. Now the next step is to. It was just one stone, by the way. What the heck? What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Investigate we shall. Dash.
Ooh, Medusa. That is going to murder us. There's no way that I have any chance against a thing like that at the current moment. Well, that's not gonna work. Ooh, they dropped some tools. Yeah, take them. Nice class intro. There's no way we're fighting this. Holy shit. I see. Swift strikes are a piece of greatest play. Watch for an opening. And press your boat till they are overwhelmed. Yeah, button mash. That shit. Don't get too don't stay too close. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge incoming attacks with shields. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons never combatant. I'm grabbing onto her tail and stabbing it. I wanna cut off her tail. This is Monster Hunter, right? This works. Nice. Easy kill. We are OP as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's just fleeing. The, yeah, there was no chance we were killing this. Hey, Warren. Welcome to the stream. Wait, I'm muted? Wait a second. I shouldn't be muted. No, I'm not muted. Only manual saves work. Don't use... Really? Thanks for the tip. Thank you so much for the tip, Walden. Only manual saves work. Use all data. I will never come back. You can carry your stupid rocks yourself, idiot. Uh, just be sure to manual save to make sure uh, the game saved. Um, I was muted um, automatically for some... Oh, sorry for that. So you were muted. Let's see. Oh, uh, fuck! Okay, I guess so. Woo! No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Are you sure about that? I just think about the... Okay, apparently the griffin is here now. And I'm riding it because of course I am. Because I am just amazing, apparently. Damn, I'm just... Uh, uh, the griffin is just on my side, huh? I guess so. Will do, my spooky friend. Who's the guy with us, by the way? He's probably important, right? Or he's just gonna die in a sec. <laughs> Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, that's about the correct reaction to a griffin. 
I would think. Everyone must be confused why they're just why they're just two guys riding on a griffin. Oh, are they gonna shoot me down? Well, she's definitely important, isn't she? Yeah, they're gonna shoot me down. Dude. You guys are gonna kill me. Oh shit. Oh the poor griffin. Come on, get me to somewhere safe. Oh, it's dying. Okay, there's a town. Good to know. Back there's a Colosseum where we came from. Quite far away, but I guess we will have to go there at some point, probably. To hunt on the Medusa. So. Now what? And I'm just there. Where's our guy? I really like the dirt effect. I'm glad I picked that. It kind of fits for the cutscenes especially. Having a little bit of dirt on you. That's a nice touch. I don't think there are many games. What the fuck is happening there? What the hell is that? Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. Are you the sure about that? Far from here, known as a ripstone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. You okay? Well, Cthulhu just took him, I guess. Oi. <laughs> Are you all right? What's I am. No thanks to you guys. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Sure am. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? I sure it, it sure was. Wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Okay. He seems like a nice guy. Who's definitely not gonna betray me at some point or something. This will be a right mess to clean up. Ooh. So there's going to be like a cavern entrance right here a once they clean it up. A ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sir Linnets from out of Melv. Okay, let's go. Too damn fast. All of a sudden. Still. Whoa, whoa why I am I so fast? Damn. A griffin of all things here. Ooh, chest. Got a potion. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? All the way over there. Wait, no, this way I think. Over there I think. Like oh, that that's stuff. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of the Tar? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. Okay, why the heck are the subtitles right above your freaking head? Why do I care to keep them in focus? Couldn't you just put the subtitles where they belong? On the bottom of the screen? Uh, I guess. Fine, goblins. Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be Let's needed. Let's do it. Where are you going? Okay, I should probably dodge a little bit. I'd at least like a word. Find your strength, like. Okay, yeah. Need to get used to dodging. Don't overcommit, definitely. I'm already down a half HP. Just by getting hit like twice or three times by the goblins. And we items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their course there is. If you're not squeamish about
Oh, this one doesn't have anything. Have you beheld the dragoners yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All the first the dragon, now a griffin. Oh god. Don't want to get hit by that. Where's our guy? Oh, you're fighting over here, I see. I can't see shit. Okay. Level 2. I don't automatically heal when I reach a new level. That's good to know. Um, let's see. How do I use a healing item then? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Carve dash jump. Didn't really tell me yet. Oh, there it is. Quick access menu. I see. Oh, we are already there. Huh. Didn't need to use that, but whatever. That was quicker than expected. Um. Welcome, arisen. Oh, there she is again. Okay. Apparently, she's a pawn. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. I sure am. The Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Let's do it. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Okay. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Hmm. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. You will now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout the, your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envision uh, their appearance. You can either begin uh, with a, present, a preset or choose to create your pawn from a blank slate. You can either begin from... Okay, so I'd rather get a preset and work from there. Oh, okay. It's the same guys as before, but this time they are just lined up. I see. Maybe I should have started from scratch. Okay. So. We are already human. Should we go then with... A cat person, probably. To mix it up a little bit. Let's go with the female cat. Hmm. I don't want to go too big, I think. So I probably so let's see what do what, what do we have? We have archer, we have warrior, and we have sorcerer that we can still pick. I think I want to go with archer. 
which means we probably want her to be quick and agile, so probably smaller than bigger. But I don't think I want to go all the way down. Let's start from this. I wonder how many fur patterns we have for options. It really doesn't matter where we go from here. It's this weird, weird, yeah, it's the same weird selection as before. Let's start from this one. And then we go... Does anything jump out? And then we go to this. And go down here. Yes. Okay. So, we literally just spent almost an hour creating our main character. And now we are going... And playing half an hour of gameplay. And now we are going to spend another half an hour at least probably creating this. <laughs> okay, game. I see what, what we're doing here. Oh my god, this is gonna... Maybe I'm gonna skip a couple of these, but let's let's see. The fur, that's definitely one that I wanna, like, go with the right one. What does... What does that change? Oh, we only have two... Oh, it's the fluffiness of the fur. So it's the fur shader, basically, what you're talking about. So, if you wanna have it fluffy, or if you wanna have it, like... Yeah, still fluffy, but, like, small hairs, basically. Let me see. Very similar to the Palico shader, to be honest, from World. If it's not the same thing, it is from Capcom, so... And I think there are this a couple of the devs that work on Monster Hunter working on this, too. So it might just be almost... Almost the same shader. The f what the fluff in the, uh, what the fluffiness really does is just it's blurring it. I'm not sure if I want that. It's blurring it a lot. I'm gonna go without it first, and we can switch it once we are done making everything else. Okay, the pattern really important. Really important. Um, we got basically nothing, I guess. Yeah, just the fur. And then we have the stripes. Then we have the dots. And then we have... Mainly stripes on the shoulders. And the legs from behind. So mainly stripes coming from behind and nothing up front. The same with the dots. Number six is what exactly? What is number six? What's the difference between number one and number six? Okay, I must be blind because I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, I see it now. It's uh, the... um. Darkened fur portions, and this is a bigger one of that, basically. Okay, and that's it. We only have seven different varieties. That's not that much. Oh, I was hoping for more. Mm, kind of was hoping for more. That's too much. That's... I think I'd like the these ones that come from behind better. Where you have, still have stripes, but you don't have stripes everywhere. Yeah, I'd like the stripes better than the dots, I think. Pattern color. Okay. Um, type 1. It's so stupid that it's on none, and then you can switch back to none. 
Why can't I switch back to none? Pattern color presets. Okay, so these are the presets. This is type 1, then we have dark on dark, darker on dark. Okay. Let's just go through all of these. We'll probably zoom out a little bit to see, have a better look at it. I do kind of like I do kind of like the bluish in there, but that's all too dark. That's all way too dark. That, that way you don't see the stripes at all. You won't ha want to have a nice contrast between the stripes and the main body color. I guess I'm gonna maybe change them myself. Okay, which is this color? Okay, this is the main body color. And then this is which? This is apparently also the main body color. Okay, I see this is the... I see, I see, I see. This is the highlight color. Ah, and these are the ones like... Ah, I see, I see, I see. And these are the tattoos or the stripes. Number nine. I think I want to go a little bit darker than number nine. I don't want to go all the way down to one, though. I think five is okay. And for the fur highlight, well, I guess fur base color comes first. Let's go for something like 64, I think. Maybe that's too bright. Let's go for 63. this brighter this is not bad and it's more natural color than this 129 it's very similar to 83 What about 16? They're all very similar. I think I'm good with this. Oh, we can go color intensity too. I didn't even notice. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's getting just really bright. So it's more or less the saturation that we're changing here. 
Let's get this up. I want to have it a little bit brighter than it is. It's a little bit too dark for my taste. Otherwise, you won't see the different patterns on the fur and everything. Especially not in lighter environments. Let's get this up to 25. Color intensity of color 3. Thirty. Yeah, the the patterns pop way better, and you can see the face better too. And this we just keep at zero, I think. Yeah, this makes actually the patterns worse. I think we want the lighter color here, just to give it a little bit of variety. I think this is not bad. It seems about right. Then the body. 165, so basically 5 centimeters more than the minimum that we can go. Should be okay. Torso length. Everything seems to be about the right proportions, I think. I don't think we want to have it longer or shorter. That seems really weird. That is way too long. For a torso. Wait, was it 65? Yeah, 65. 65 seems about right. Muscle style, oh god. Uh, we need to zoom in to the muscles again. Oh, with the fur it's even worse. You can basically not tell the difference. Oh my god, you cannot, almost not tell the difference between any of these. Wow. Why even have this option? I guess I'm gonna go with the 9 that we had. Um, can we even see if we increase the muscle strength from 50? There is... N if we put that all the way up top, it's still almost not visible. Oh my god. What's the point of this being here? Let's put this to 75, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Okay, the next seems about right, about body muscle mass, that's a buff girl, damn she was working out in the gym, so we started at minus 60, which is 40 of the minimum, I think I want to give her a little bit more. Put it up to minus 20, maybe. Something like that. Lower body as well. Let's watch those legs. At minus 40. So we want her to be quick. So she does need chunky legs, right? Let's get those up to 50. Upper body size. What's that again? Oh, right. The thickness. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Both of those. Wait, what the hell? The minimum between the lowest numbers is literally just the chest size. What the hell is this? It doesn't even change anything from the body fat. It just changes the chest size. What the hell? Okay, let's get her a little bit normal body type. 
Like to... Like to 15. Let's put it up to 15. That seems about right. Yeah, that's a normal body type, I would say. Um, lower body size. If I remember, this was just the booty, right? Yeah, it's just basically the booty. We started at... 125? 126. Put that up to 50. No, the head. Head size seems fine towards the proportions of the body, I think. Yeah, that's definitely too big. Maybe not have it in the minus. Maybe have it at plus five or something. Just a little bit, a tad bigger. Head length is fine. Head width is fine. Head depth. Neck should be fine. Neck thickness should be fine too. Upper body. Shoulder width. Let's give her a little bit more. We're starting at minus 20, so let's get her to plus 20. Shoulder size is fine. Minus 70. Ooh, those are some buff shoulders. I think I want to get it to minus 10. Something like this. Chest thickness. Okay, that's literally just a chest size, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's keep it that at the base that chest size. Oh, okay, that's the chest size. Okay. Yeah, let's put that where we started. Um, chest shape, dude. What? How many chest options are there really? And where were the where were the chest options? On the male character. Dude, you can do dot five variety on these. What the heck? This, some, uh, a male created this editor, definitely. Seriously, what's with all the chests? Oh my god, you can make, make them soggy too. What the heck? Plump, soggy. What the heck? Why is all of that? Okay, I can appreciate all the variety that you can put into this, but what the heck? I didn't have this detailed of um, settings for the male character for his chest. I only could, the only thing that I could do were packs, basically, and varieties of packs. But where were the man boobs, my dude? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Um, what am I doing here anyways? Torso with. I think I'm fine at 10. Torso depth. Should be fine too. Yeah, let's give her actually a little bit more depth. What was the starting point? Minus 15. Let's get her up to plus 15. Um, arm length, I think it's fine. Maybe a little bit longer. To like plus 15. Arm size. Alright, that's the muscles. The thickness. Let's give her a little bit more thicker arms. Go to 75. Okay, now the lower body. Got the waist. Um, waist width. Okay. You can make a big booty in this game. I wonder what crazy creations people come up with. 
There are gonna be some crazy ones. If I understand it correctly, we cannot actually create a second character though. Not at least not for for now. Which kind of sucks. I'm so used to from like games like Dark Souls and all that to just make more and more characters. And with more characters, you see a more a bigger variety of like oh that's a booty size. Um rear size. I guess you see a bigger, let's put that to like 50. I see a bit of variety of like crazier creations. And if you only have one character that can, you can make, I bet most people are playing it pretty safe. I guess on PC you would be able to back up your character. Twiggy legs. I think this seems about right. Let's go to 20. Make it a round number. Okay, posture. Movement style again. What was the difference again? So hard to tell the difference, I feel like. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, over here is a little bit more speedy movement. So let's get that up to like 75 too. The elbow angle. Yeah. I think I want to keep those pretty much on the body. Let's go to minus 75. Not, I don't want to go all the way. The knee angle. I think I keep that at default. And then the posture at 11. Seems about right. Yeah, 11 seems about right. Okay, oh my god. There's so much more. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you can't give me two character creators. Oh my god, this whole stream is going to be character creation, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, the variety of base heads. Um, wow, um, let's look at the head, brow height, since you can, you don't really have eyebrows, this is actually really hard, I guess it raises up the pattern a little bit. can see a little bit of facial difference, but to be honest, with the feline face, it's pretty hard to tell. Yeah, there's really nothing we have to do here. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> um, about the eyes, though. I height. I mean, she has a nice forehead, so that's fine. I width. Yeah, it's okay at default. I depth. Seems about right. Uh, actually. Eyes are pretty back there. Pretty deep inside. Maybe put them a little bit further. Maybe to like 35. Something like this. I 
It's still deep, but not crazy deep. Eye size. We are basically already at max. Yeah. Yeah, for cat people, you really need big eyes. I might as well go all the way to a max. The angle seems fine. Oh my god. The closed eye, though. That looks kind of weird. I don't know why. Um, Squint is at 50. Okay, this makes the eye just way bigger. Yeah, I'm just making. I'm just having them wide open. Oh, that's actually re way better. I think. Looks way nicer. Um, nose seems okay. Maybe a little bit shorter. I say a little bit shorter, but it's basically all the way at max. At 80. Put it up to like 10. Ah, let's put it up to 30. There we go. More of a stumpy nose. The shape's fine. The ears, uh, that's a problem because of the hairstyle. We can't actually see. We need to remove the hairstyle. Completely. Otherwise, we won't be able to do this correctly. Okay, the ears. Hmm, I kind of like these. Type number three is not bad. Aw. Curled up ears. Ears. Yeah, I like number threes. Number threes are nice. I'm just gonna keep them like this. Um, then the cheeks. Cheek thickness. That's a plumpy boy or girl. I think I'm putting this up to 30. Yeah, 30 is good. Cheek height, all of those are fine, I think. The mouth. That's hard. So with that, I'm basically just moving everything up. Since I moved up the nose. I'm gonna keep the mouth down here. With width. Protrusion. Seems about right. Corners. 30. Give her a little bit of a smile. Whiskers position. What does that mean? Okay, there's not much difference, is there? It's moving it a little bit up and down, I think. Oh, I see, I see, I see the movement. Yeah, I think about this is correct. Let's go to 60. Lower lip position. So hard to tell because of the writing thing. I think that's better. I think I want to move this to like 10. That seems about right. Chaw and chin. Um, Chaw definition. Uh, 
hard to tell. I see a little bit of movement, but... Ah, I see the movement. Okay, okay, I see it now. I think this is about right. At about 40. Where's the default, actually? 43. Yeah, let's keep it at 43. Mm, job is to position... Tusion... About the chin. Let's keep it at 11. Let's keep this as default. Now then. Hairstyle. What hair do we want? That's not bad, to be honest. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. Number 29. Definitely a strong contender. I do like number 43, though. That's a really nice one, too. Okay, 44, too. A little bit lighter in the back. But it's basically the... Uh, actually... Yeah, we're losing the hairs in the front, so I like 43 better. That's too much. Okay. There are a couple of nice ones. I think these are just too boring. The flat hairs. I do like really like the 43. I'm going with 43. Okay. What colors can we go with there? Can we make more of a gold blonde? Let's give the base color a darker tint. Go actually up to 85. The root color on this is actually really big. Yeah, but I think this is better. This is a nicer color. But for the tips, I'm gonna go with something different. You can still see the difference here, but not as well as if I just go white. What other colors do we have? How about this? I 
It's hard to tell the... Oh, right, we do have the sheen and the sheen position still. But sadly, we can't go really color intensity or something like that. <sighs> Oops, I went the wrong way. I wanted to do coloring, or oh, the lighting. It's really hard to tell the difference here. I think I'm going back to 33. It's easier to tell if you have either a very light color or very dark. Since we are so in between. May actually want to go all the way with the root tip blend. Just so that it has an easier way to actually distinguish. Between. Okay, it's easier to see there's a color distinction on the back of the head. So it's easier to work with that. Even though there are so many colors, a lot of them are very similar. They should have just added a color wheel, to be honest. There's no reason not to have a color wheel at this point. I might just want to go this way. It's easier to see the darker colors, to be honest. And I don't want to go all white. And there's just so little distinction between the different yellows that we have. I think I'm going to go this way. Add a little bit so that we have a little bit there. 95, yeah, 95, we do have to go 95 though. Reset body hair, why? Okay, then we have the face. Oh my. Oh god, here we go. Face patterns preset is at 15. This is actually just the face. 15 is too dark, I feel like. Eleven is not too bad, but it seems a little bit sad.
Let's go with 14. Face color presets, none. Ah, there we go. I kind of like this. Basic pattern opacity. Let's go way lighter. I'm going like 25%. Okay, then we can actually... Go with that. Yeah, that's better now. If we have this way lower, let's have it at 40. Have it a little bit, you can see it still, but it's not too present. Now I like these. I like these the best. Face pattern, eye pattern. Gonna stick with that. Um, check pattern. Or oh, cheek pattern. Ooh, I kind of like these. Go to number six. Nose pattern. We don't have any nose pattern, do we? Oh, I guess we do have the darkening, I guess. I kind of like this. Um, pattern color intensity. Pattern color intensity, that's all of that is fine. Face pattern, opacity, pattern, cheek pattern, opacity, whoops. Nose. Reset. Okay, that's fine. And we got the nose. Oh, you can see it a little bit on the tip. But I want to go with black here. Having the black nose. Does the sheen really do that much? Oh, I need to switch over the light again. Yeah, that's better. The way we can see actually the sheen. Barely a difference. Intensity. No difference since since it's black, there's no difference. Eyes. Type of eyes. Currently at type number one. Oh, there are just four types. Uh, okay. To be honest, there's one more type than we had before. Because there's a cat type. And I'm actually going to go for the cat type. I think. This is actually not bad either, but... Ooh, what colorings do we have? Ooh, I like these. Hmm. I like them with yellow. Yellow is really nice in the secondary color. Oh, these are not bad. 
It's not a bed either. Oh, the yellow and green works really good. Those look really nice. I think I'm gonna go with that. Iris size at 43. Yeah, that's definitely not the way to go. We need to fill out the whole eye. This seems like she's on catnip. <laughs> Let's go to 45. Make it a little bit bigger. Pupil size. Oh, now she's now she's on catnip. Yeah, we do have to keep it low. Otherwise, it just looks weird. Let's keep it at the default of three. Eyelashes. Ah, that's okay. Triple end is fine. Teeth. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh, we have different number of teeth. I guess that makes sense. Even the whites are pretty yellow. Seven is still the whitest, I think. I'm gonna go with seven here as well. Dude, that looks actually pretty horrifying. <laughs> oh, claw color. Base color. Wait, claws, meaning her hands? It does. Oh, nice. Sadly, again, there aren't really that many varieties and we don't have any saturation increase so I'm just gonna go for black because all the other colors don't really I can't make the fur white and then have the nails white that just looks weird I guess I'm gonna go for five though that is not completely dark okay tattoo presets We are almost there. We almost got it. Tattoos. None. It's literally the exact same tattoos. To be honest, I'm kind of hesitant to put any tattoos here because it just messes with their pattern, which I think is really nice. So I'm kind of hesitant to put any tattoos on her. At least anything big. Yeah, let's not. Okay. You're definitely gonna add a tattoo though. Question is what? Great, I cannot see it because of her bra. I don't really think there's anything that just works well. Okay, before we put a tattoo on, about the scars, yeah, not let's not do the preset because we know how that works out. Actually, let's look at it real quick. Yeah. Body scars. I don't really want to ha her to have a scar. 
I'd rather her to have just a tattoo. And if a tattoo, then... Nothing crazy. Let's go with that. Oh, I can't choose a uh, third color. Intra eh, I guess the flowers are blue on this. Where's the tattoo size? Of all scale. Put that up to 15. Put that over here. I hate that it disappears on the shoulder. I do need to rotate it. Is there a way to mirror it? Whoa. Oh, tiling. Rotate, there it is. But there doesn't seem a way to mirror it. Something like that. I want to have it go up her neck from the shoulder. From like here. Have it a little bit more scaled like that. To go on her cheek, you know? Something like this. But for that, we need to scale it even further. Put that up to 25. While that's still being at 15. Something like this. This seems like a nice tattoo to have. Um, and then we have dirt. All right, dirt coverage. The problem is you can't really tell the difference between dirt and her pattern. At this point, it just looks that her pattern is dirty. I don't want that. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm good with this. Maybe I'm not totally happy with the white color of the tattoo. Maybe we have a little bit more lighter. More that center tone. Maybe something like this. Something at 43. Thing is, you can't really tell those. 
Can't really see those. So I'm rather go with the black for the... Oops. Okay, that seems to be a fine. Okay. Okay, it took us a while, but we are done. I think. I shouldn't say that before, before I actually know that we are done. <laughs> we still need to uh, choose the vocation. Vocation is going to be Archer. I'm already the thief. Let's go Archer for her. Inclination. Kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, and dutiful. The most obedient sort of pawn. Uh, favors a uh, balance approach with an emphasis on uh, support. Quick to aid allies in need. Calm. Rational, shrewd, and strategic. Um, strategizing upon um, characterized by caution uh, favors uh, defense and evasion employing uh, clever tactics uh, to survive at all costs simple um, curious earnest and advent um, adventurous upon with their heart um, on their sleeves Enjoys exploring and gathering items. And is always up for a challenge. Straightforward. Um, counted, counted, um, f flippant and impulsive. Upon unbound by pre pre um, precept precepts. Um, enjoys the thrill of combat. Um, taking... Here's foes head on with daring assaults. So this seems to be like more of the warrior style that you would want to go with. If I would go with one of these, I would either go with straightforward or kind-hearted. Um, calm seems pretty good too because it covers evasion. Okay, this defense and evasion, but I want her to focus on attack. Um, since she's gonna be in the back. And this seems pretty good for that. Enjoy the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head on. That seems pretty good. So, straightforward, Archer, and the voice. Of course. People here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. People here are evacuated and there are more who can yet be saved. People here are evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. People here are evacuated and there are more who can yet be saved. People here are evacuated and there are more who can yet be saved. It's literally just the pitch that they changed. And the more pitched it gets, the weirder the voice sounds, I feel People like. People here are evacuated and safe. Wait, we only have one option for male and female? The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated God's. and safe. It seems the rain has abated. 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 Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. I kind of like number three, again. The middle one always seems to be pretty good. Okay. Feminine Beaster. Um, Beastren. I think we're done. Let's go. The name. I'm going to call her Rin, because that's my typical female character for most of the games. Also for Monster Hunter. And her moniker is gonna be... It's gonna be Chad. <laughs> what? No. 
<laughs> oh my god. What the heck? It's, uh, it makes sense that Chad would be here, but still. What the heck? Oh my god. What do you have in there? Do we have to give her a moniker? I guess if he, I would give her a moniker, it would be something like Robin or something. Something to like... Hmm, something that would fit. Wait. Max. It would have been funny if there would have been Mr. Bean. <laughs> what the heck? It just came out of nowhere. No, I don't I don't have anything. I don't really have a good one here. Under Q we, Q, we have just Q. Really? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna go with Rin. Finalize character and proceed. Yes. Let's go. Okay, it just took us two and a half hours to get here. Just took us two and a half hours. But we are finally this playing the game. Is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns such as myself, are able to traverse. Okay. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. That's nice. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Sure. Sounds great. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. Well, he's impressed. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Why can't I turn the camera right there? You're free to do as you like Why is that a thing? What? You've no memories, you say? Sure don't. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Well, should you be Arisen, mayhap spoilers. you have of import there. Brother Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. Rift Zone. By touching the Rift Zone, a Rift Zone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge. At Twixt Worlds, which a great many pawns travel as they journey beyond the Rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns um, who meet their Specified preferences. Um, these pawns will not level up 
while they are accompanying you. However, you um however, um so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Okay. Hail, Arisen. Hail. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer if sure. it is within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. Okay. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Okay. Tell me about the Riftstones. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Okay, does that mean if you die, you automatically return and don't die? Tell me of the Arisen. It is the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the, the Pawn world. Legion. That <laughs> sounds like hell. Oh my god. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. I'm talking to her by not even looking at her, by the way. Another time, Very then. Well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Sure. Okay. I will see to it that the law is upheld. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Sure. I Why are you so small? <laughs> if it is within my power to do so. Yeah, we've already Remember, asked everything. May can I have you as a pawn? You should be high level, right? You've been around. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Okay. Oh, I see. You are a pawn. I mean, I already have an archer, though. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Okay. You are a knight. Sounds interesting. Need one of those. Another archer. Another knight. Bigger one, though. Whoopsie. Put those away. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. Okay. Level 3 Carbon. Okay. Oh, he cost 31 though. The other one was free. You'll find none lighter on their feet than a thief. I'm sure my talents will be of use to you. I guess because he's level 3 and the others are not. What about a mage though? I haven't seen any mages there. What if I go in here? So how does this work? Oh, hello. Oh, I see. Dude, you guys are expensive. Ooh, there's a level 1 mage. That is free. Where are my free dudes at? At this point, I don't need high-level ones. You're free. Level 2 is free, too. Nice. Mr. Sam over here. And a level 2 over here, too. A knight. She's level 2 as well. Yeah, I might want to get both of these. I'm gonna take the Sam. You, sure, Sam. I'm hiring you for zero. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. Okay. Um, pawn quests. Uh, pawn quests. Uh, tasks given to you. 
your main pawn uh, to be completed beyond uh, the rift. You set the task and must stipulate um, a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges. So you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. I see. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn um, to receive, you can either select specific items or uh, nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. Um, it is also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting um, to retri um, the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn's quest. I see. And we're taking Ajax I as see well. Not even the Arisen could resist my charms. Well done. Ah, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, search for fun. Uh, I'll leave the rift. Okay. Now we have a full party. Here in Vermont, pawns are revered as servants of the Arisen, but not so here in Batal. Okay. So that's my party. Uh, items, map, quests. So this is just the main quest. I heard word from... Uh, Dragon attack, make for the village, yeah, yeah, to witness the thing. It's just my basic equipment. Yeah, they believe that some divine flame will protect What about the pawn, a pawn, um, pawn quests? That we've been taught, ta that they told me about, ooh. Cancel the gift, yes. Don't want to gift him to anything. Speak your will, and I'll see it done. Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, I guess they don't have a quest. So that would make sense, since they are, like, low-level pawns that probably just got created anyways. So. Would make sense that they don't have a quest. Do not impede me, sir. I'm on sure. duty. Damn it. Okay, looking for loot. Oh my god. Ah. Climb the tent. No. To be here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. What are you talking about? Where? Where did you see useful ingredients? You don't look like much. Hello, you merchant. Where's of every ilk? That makes sense. A lantern fueled. A lantern that can be worn at the waist. To brighten uh, one's surroundings with every step currently um, has plenty of oil. That seems really important. I can't afford it. Why can I not afford it? Hope to see you again here long. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper. Other safe data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in the world. It's recommended to rest at an in regular intervals if you wish to ensure. Okay, okay, okay. Browsing. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. Hi there. 
You seem so tired. You're an inn. You can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Okay. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Okay, resting at inns. Staying at an inn uh, fully resourced. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 that makes sense. Okay. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. They do say Ooh, nice. good things come to those who wait. We gain XP from resting, I guess. Ooh, the smithy. Make a melf. Priority quest set automatically. How do I zoom? Oh, that's the max zoom already. Training grounds. That's where we exit. Ah, I see. There we go. Ah, it's over here. Okay. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. What are you selling? You're selling equipment. You can afford the lantern now, though. I mean, I already have those. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. Always a pleasure. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Okay. I didn't ask you, but... Wait, did he just leave? No, that... Oh. Ajax is right here. What the heck? I didn't even... Okay, whatever. Have a gander at my wares. Sure. I don't know where I got that money from. Oops. But I want one of those lanterns. You shan't regret it. Hope to see you again here long. Okay. Now I have a lantern. That can light our way. What's up here? There's a chest. That's a come on. Enough. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Makes sense. Come on, grab the ladder. There's literally nothing down here. Oh, up here. Okay, I kind of want to go back down. Okay, so. We don't collide. That's good to know. Woo! Okay. Now then, we're going this way, right? Yes. Hey, oh, you a soldier? Not really. I'm surprised to see you arrive in one piece. If not, hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late. You see. That makes sense. We've had to start sending out new recruits to call them. Okay. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. 
but I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't Harpies reported in that area? I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. So, I'm on it. You seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Sure. It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the map. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Um, ba -ba -ba, taking priority quests. Uh, you can select uh, the quest to prioritize from among uh, you have accepted. Um, if the quest destination is known, um, Amaka will be placed on the map indicating it. Uh, furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of uh, that particular quest, um, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with uh, such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as priority. A warning regarding quest progression. Some quests um, are affected by the passage of time and will uh, progress even without the arisen's envelopment. Um, taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to act um, in time. And this, this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the fact in mind. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, new quest done. Time sensitive one. There we go. It's a priority. Okay. It's just on the way. Let us make haste. Now then, let's go guys. Whoa, chill. Okay, it's basically you just follow the path. Stay on the right side of the path. Pawn commands. There are four commands that the Arisen can use to direct their pawn's companions, and their effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used, um, such as when in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawns, sponsors, and co um, okay, 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 okay. Go. Instruct pawns to act uh, independently um, of the arisen during combat. It directs uh, pawns to spread out across the battlefield. That seems useful. Um, it can also be used to request assistance. To me, instruction pawns to approach the arisen. Makes sense. Wait. Search pawns to remain where they are. Help. Search pawns to prioritize support healing. Okay. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the world. Well, that was quick. Oh. Well then. Didn't really do much, but. Not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am part of the challenge. Try not nice. to get hit, lest all that vim goes to waste. Okay. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. What attack? Having three guys with me seems kind of OP. There you go. Oh, this guy's sleeping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we can clap. Oh my god. Give me five. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. 
We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. I'm Take being distracted by treasure. Ooh, 540. That should be useful in the early game. Okay, I actually need to loot all of these guys. Okay, not all of them dropped something. Is everyone here? Yep. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Yes. It's a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Exactly. Exactly my point. Would be stupid to all do be experts in the same category. No, 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 no. What's going on over here? Okay, 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 okay. We got her. Oh my. Okay. Let's proceed. Oh, over here. Who are you? Nice. I never mind that now. You're welcome. Is that all of them? Sure is. Yeah. That the guy we were supposed thanks. to help? I do not think believe so. for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You no saved worries. me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to... Well, I'd best be heading back. But I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Sure. Sounds, sounds great. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Report back to Phil. Okay, so we actually do have to go back as well. Yeah, that was a quest already. From Phil. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, Rin is fast. Okay. Since we are not under time pressure anymore. Come to think of it, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. I'll be okay. sure to keep that in mind. That's where we came from, the, from the start of the game. Oh, no! There we go. Now, oh, where's our guy? Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm on duty. Sure, sure, sure. Hey, old friend! Ah, there's Phil. Thanks for aiding Ocado. Sure. It was a relief to see him return. No worries. The worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. Nice. <laughs> Speaking poor of guy. training regimes. I must admit, I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. 
A sign of good things to come, mayhap. Okay, level four. Light as a feather after that exchange. Perfect. Wait, is there anything else that we can do here? He thinks the troops will get more out of their training if they had a sub. With any luck, the instructors in the training ground here will have a cargo back. You seem well. Not much going on here. Ooh. Am I allowed to pick this up? I guess so. Don't mind if I do then. What did he say his name was again? Okay, is there any way to see if any of these have actual quests for us? Or do we actually have to talk to every single person in every single camp that we come across? There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Wait, what ladder? You mean that ladder? Sorry, sorry that I draw, drew my sword. Was an accident. Low on everything. Ah, there we go. Used to craft the materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods. What with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be sure. paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. Well, who's Marcus? He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. North, huh? Ah, so over there. Oops. So where we came from, basically. I'm not trained for this. I'd hasten home. So it looks like if there is a quest. If any of these have a quest, if we get close to them, they will just start talking to us. And will give us a quest. So if I run past them and they are not reacting to me, that would mean that they have not, don't have a quest. Were you looking to speak with Severin? Good luck. He brooks no chatter with us during training. And makes for home the second our drills are done. Okay. I'm not quite sure where his house is, though I've gathered it isn't near here. Doubt he'd tell me, even if I asked. Here in Vermont, pawns are revered as servants. That seems important. We're not allowed to talk to your mission, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he was just stretching. Okay, let's get this mission done. One of the goblins respawned. They were here before. Yeah, we're on the right track. <laughs> Damn, that sounds... Every time I run out of stamina, that sounds horrifying. It sounds like he's dying. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, master? Damn, someone... Oh, I see. We already ran past. Ah, right there. That's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oi, did you need something? Sure. Here you go. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Sure is. Let's have a look then. 
Why? He wants these as well, does he? I thought sure I was does. finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as tis. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Okay. Well, go on. You know what to do. Combining materials. You can combine two materials to create a new item. When combining, you can either choose uh, the materials individually or select um, a combination that you have previously tried. You can also prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first. The arisen or their pawns. Where ought we to begin our search? Um, you delivered them uh, to Marcus. Procure some uh, horror boots. Okay, okay, okay. Where do we get those? Oh, I see. Over here. Just anywhere over here. Strawberry. Green wraith. Grapes. Princess. Strawberries. More strawberries. Okay, got a lot of stuff. Ooh, my. What was the quest? Um, got the three has our spots and two celebrious drought. Our spots. I've got five of them. But I don't have the other. The Halibrius. Whatever. I got the Haas sprouts and two Salabrius droughts. I don't have those. That's not it either. Where the hell are we going? Are we even in still inside the circle? We are not. We actually left the circle. We are back on the road. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Oh, that's the... Oh, I see. That's the healing one. I see. Haven't you anything for me yet? Well, you best get to it then. Okay, 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 okay. We need to do the crafting. So, how do I craft the... <laughs> ah! 
Oh my god. Combine. How do I combine? Oh, there it is. Combine materials. There it is. We need an apple and one of the green ones, I think. So we do have an apple. Oh, it does tell you. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, so basically any fruit will do. And it doesn't matter which one of these we take. I see. That's actually pretty nice. We can just combine basically any fruit with any... How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Yes. Oh, that's a better material, basically. A highly nutritious variety. I'm going to see what happens if I give him these instead. If there's any benefit to that. If he will react to me giving him the premium. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. There doesn't seem to be any reward for using the Better materials, but that's fine. Report back. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Sure, sure, sure. What have you found? Okay, actually... Can we talk? I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Oh, I see. I can switch it right here. Ah, I can switch it right here. Oh, Rin has a lantern too. Nice. Everyone has a lantern. That's nice. Okay. Let's go. Re let's report back. It doesn't seem like that the goblins have respawned. No, don't close the gates. Okay, I've returned. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. No worries. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, Not really. You've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Sure. Our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deed all round. 
It sure was. I will see to it that the law is upheld. With any luck, the instructors in the training ground here will have a cardo battle ready year long. I'm still curious about the instruction area. It seemed important that we can... Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. Want a blade in your ribs? Parry! Aye, sir. This must be the guy. Aye. Hello. I'm about to commence the troops' training regime. It is a task that demands focus. So if tisn't an urgent matter, it can wait till after we're done here. Sure. They've a ways to go yet. Okay. So there's definitely something that we have to do with him. Mind. I have time. Damn. Oh my. The blood is just spilling everywhere. Damn, he parried the shit out of that other guy. They're even outside of the ring now. Oh wait, there's a chest back there. Nice. I would have liked to join your training, but... Ways to go yet. I guess we will have to come back. Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm on duty. He seems important, though. Okay, we want to go down there. Okay, basically follow the same path. And then cross over here. Over the river. There's nothing right here. We should be able to cross just like that and then follow the main road down or we could go all the way around here both of which would work one's definitely shorter than the other this ladder looks sturdy enough to climb after you arisen which letter? Is there a letter? Can I climb up here? Oh my god, secrets. Pulgurus no Lord, huh? I've not the time for your prattling. Bother some I'm not prattling. I don't see a letter. People are telling me uh, things about a letter. I guess that's that one. Okay, there has to be something up here then. Everyone has been saying stuff about this letter. Okay, I can't actually jump out of here. Okay, that was my only idea. If I could jump out of there, I would be able to get up there. Okay, I guess we go. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Let me do one last run over here. To see if they are done. Wait, he's gone. 
Your feet so. are unsteady. I need more running to toughen them up. Okay, I can't. Right, sir. Looking to join the troops training? We'd yes. be glad to have you. Now get to running. Can't hurt to build up your endurance, even if you've plenty already. Okay. They've a ways to go yet. I'm running. Ah! That's probably not what he wants me to do. I guess I have to come back again. Seems like it just has some time has to pass before he talks to us. Wait, what the heck was that? Oh, there was stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah the stone. What the heck is over here? There is something. I just noticed. There's something over here. I've already emptied the chest, so it can't be the chest. Why is there a marking on the map? Okay, this tower is very sus. Is that it? Is it the flag? Can I interact with the flag? No, I can't. If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be. Can I check out what it is? No, I'm not even seeing it on this map. If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is locked. I can't jump out there. There's nothing. My curative what the? magics are at your disposal. Wait what? right there. What the? Why did you do that? There is some sort of secret right here. But I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it just didn't realize that I took the chest. Is that it? <sighs> Why is there a thing here? What does it mean? Oh, damn it. I made it up top, actually. <laughs> Can I actually make this? Yeah. Nice. Damn it. Okay. What's going on in here? Still doing running training. Guess more time has to pass. Let's go out and have a look around. One arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I mean, you're doing pretty well. Keeping up and all that. Goblins, master. I suppose I'll handle this. There she is. Wait, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Damn, chill. Well done, master. I'm already past the thing. Dude. To be honest, we can go the long way. On the map, it looks so long. I'm used to the map being pretty big. Does 
but it's kind of weird. Running around and just passing everything. Map makes it all seem so big, but it's actually way closer together than you would expect. Nice vocation rank up. This is generally used as a material. Ooh, nice. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. That makes sense. Merchant vitality. There are stairs right here. Huh. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Okay, I guess we're going this way. The day grows darker with our every step. Years pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. Sure will. There it is. We can already see it. To be honest, I'm kind of curious about... I guess we will be up there at some point. So let's go to town. Ooh, there's someone already. Hello. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. I guess he, she's a pawn. Pawn. Level 5. Damn. Cancel. We have a full team. What the hell are you? Oh no. I've done something horrible. Why am I picking up the pig? Okay, I'm the pig murderer now. Okay, it's too late to turn back. I've already committed so many crimes against pig kind. So, yeah, this is my life now. I'm leveling up by a slaughtering pig. A resting place, huh? Whoa, 500G. Just like that, huh? Okay, if we fall into the water, we die, right? That's a thing. Just gonna drown because we don't have any stamina, I guess. This doesn't seem a good way to come back up. What the hell? What are these? Okay, whatever they are, I killed them. So yay me. No! Oh my god, I thought I was jumping into the water. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Well, we are basically here already, so... Melf raised by dragon's fire. So the whole thing is burnt down. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. Okay. I guess we're entering the this is no village. Great shock to me.
Oh oh. Hello. Well met. Makeshift goal key for three thousand. Ring of aggression, boost strength. Ring of resolution. Knocked down or staggered. That's fine. Hope to see you again. I will be back. Not dying. That's just as well. If I have any more Best materials. To be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Another one. What is? Oh shit. Where are my pawns? Okay. Flashback? Ooh, the dragon. Wait, what? You serious? There's no way we can win this. But to the back feet. The dragons are always weak at the back feet. Well, not really. Their scales are even stronger there, but... At least they can't do that many attacks. Arisen. You can regain your memories. Uh-oh. Oh. But she, we know she's still alive, so we saved her. Damn. Damn, we are cooked. Literally. Uh-oh. He does a thing. No! He does a thing! He took our heart. Dum dum dum. So all of that makes sense now. Sir, sir, stay with me. I'm with you. Where are my pawns? What are they doing? <laughs> I collapsed, and they are just, I guess, somewhere.
Thank goodness. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Second time, you say? Um, you have my thanks. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? No, I just remember that. You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. Um, I seem to have become arisen. I remember nothing. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Not really. They threw me into the mine. I am of the border watch. Someone with arisen like ability came to this village torn in two. No you ought to be. Has he come for you? Probably. We depart so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Sure. Till then. Take care. I will do. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler sure. of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Okay. Sure. What say we gather some information? All of a sudden, you guys are back. Seriously, guys, I just collapsed, and you just did nothing. Well met. Looking to make a pet? Cheers. Don't have anything that I want. See you again. If you want my advice, keep no. Okay. Perhaps new. This seems like a good place to stop for today. So. Did quite a well. Okay, maybe not quite a bit of progress, but <laughs> we created our character and our pawn. So now we can actually start making good progress. So we will be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. for another Arisen stream. Well, not Arisen. <laughs> Dragons and Dogma stream. So do look forward to that. Gonna be a lot of fun again. Um, well, we haven't really played much, but I do really like this game. So do join me tomorrow as well. And we will be jumping, of course, back into Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel tomorrow as well. At 5 p.m. Don't miss out on that. As always, thank you so much for coming, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Almost four hours. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful start into your Sunday and a wonderful rest of your Saturday. So always stay awesome and till next time. Bye.